Hey, hey, hey! We're carrying on with our years in black metal. Today is 1999, the turn of the century, almost. So let's talk about my top 10 favourite black metal albums of this year, and let's pop it off with some honourable mentions, some that didn't make the cut but are still fantastic because there's fucking hundreds of millions of black metal albums that come out every single year, so they can't all make a top 10. They might make yours, but not this, guys. So, first off is At the Heart of Winter. Oh my god, he hasn't put this on the list. What a knob. What a fucking knob. Yep, that's right. Ten of us beat it, in my personal opinion. Also, Pale Folklore by Agalock. Great album. I got both of these on CD. Um, but it didn't make the cut, because I just like the sound of these other ones more. Still a fantastic debut. Probably Agalock's. Probably my favourite Agalock album nowadays, actually. And I can never pronounce this, I wrote it down. Herbist Lead by Nagaroff. You know, classic Nagaroff album. Um, Herbist Lead. It's good, <laughs> but it didn't make the cut. So with those out of the way, sh shuffle them into the corner. Let's get on with my top ten. Not in any order, just ten of my favourites. Starting with... Onwards to the Spectral Defile by Serif Gongor. You know anything with Serif in the name is going to be good. You know, Serif Ungle? Woohoo! And Seraf Gongor is no different. This is a black metal band which is very, very underrated. Such good melodies, such good riffs, and they don't get talked about nearly enough. This album is probably the one to check out, almost to the spectral of the file. Brilliant art, brilliant musicianship, heavy as fuck. I love it to pieces, and it's here on this list. Next up is Tark's debut, which I'm going to have to pronounce, aren't I? Natastid Serportenvid. That sounded like a little a little rhyme. Not as did this part of it. Yeah, I, I like this one a lot. Tark is one of the best Norwegian bands around. He's such a fucking legend. Um, I like I like the second one a little bit more, but the debut is just as good. I think in my ranking, I had them fairly close by the top. Um, you can't go wrong with it. You can't go wrong with any of their albums by Tark, to be honest. Uh, every single one's a banger, but this one is in the more um primal side of Tark and I just think it just it has so many catchy parts in every single song that it'll just get you lost in the music. Uh he's good at that, creating soundscapes. Um and also fun catchy melody parts and hooks. But yeah, this is one of the best Tark albums and it's here. Number num well, there's no numbers. It's here on my fucking list, alright? Next up is Lucifer Fugum with on the sortilege of Christianity um, this not Ukrainian uh, black metal band is underrated as shit. You know, if you like Nocturnal Mortem, you like Druk, you like Hate Forest, stuff like that, then you will like Lucifugum. They have so many albums, it's kind of daunting, but check out this one first because it's a fucking banger. Um, Ready Free Innsmouth, the cool ass black metal channel which you guys should all subscribe to because it's probably the best black metal channel out there, to be honest. Um, he recently just did a video on Lucy Fugan, which is pretty interesting, because I, I wrote this down, and I was like, oh shit, oh, he's talking about it. Um, really underrated band, but yeah, go check his video out. Yeah, it's in that kind of folky, somewhat symphonic black metal of the Ukrainian kind, you know, kind of like Nocturne and Mortem, but a little bit heavier, a bit more of an oomph to them. Really, really underrated, and I love this album to pieces. Uh, it's just sad that not a lot of people talk about them. So go check out Lucy Fugum, and go check out Radio Free Innsmouth, because I just realised Innsmouth, is that the HP Lovecraft fucking thing? Shadow over Innsmouth? Hmm. Anyway, check out this album. Sick. Next up is some Abagor channeling the quintessence of Satan. This is the album with the little guy and the little horse. It's cute. No, I love this album. So good. Abigail is one of the best black metal bands around. Even the newer albums kind of rivaling the older stuff. Just as goddamn good. Very, very consistent Abigail is. Uh, my favourite probably being Opus 4. A bit more of a space-like theme than that. You know what I'm like. Ooh, spacey. But yeah, this one is just magical as well. It's probably my second favourite. Or third. Natch Mitten. There's too many good Abigail albums, fuck it. Just listen to this one, just listen to it. Challenge the Quintessence of Satan, it's catchy, it's heavy. Yeah, it's one of the best Abigail albums and one you should all check out. 
Windy. Now we have On Tour. Possibly my favourite black metal album of all time? Of course it's making the list. This album is just magical. Valfar is a genius. This feels like you're in the mountains. You can taste the snowflakes on your lips. Ooh. I don't mean those pussy boys. I mean actual snowflakes. Yeah, um, this just takes you on a journey. If you're not foot tapping, head bapping, <laughs> ass rapping, then I don't know what's wrong with you. Because this, this album is just magical. And on tour, a warrior is just one of the best melodies of all time in any genre ever. Go check out this album and give it your full attention. Stronghold by Summonings this year as well. Oh my god, some of my favourite albums of all goddamn time. You know I love Summoning. Yeah, I've got all the albums. I've got the hoodie. Yeah, I love every single one. Um, I love the rawness of the debut. I like the more folky nature of the last two albums, and I like everything in between. Uh, this album is probably the most heavy, it's probably the most metal, more guitar orientated, and I like that a lot. It was my number one in my ranking, and I still love it to pieces. You no, know? Rotting Horse in the Deadly Ground is always stuck in my head. What a bloody fucking banger. This album is... It's symphonic black metal uh, in like an epic vein. It has a lot of keyboards, a lot of synthesizers. I guess the word epic black metal is the actual <laughs> genre title, but if for people who don't know what the fuck epic means, because that could mean anything, a death metal band could be epic, it means like a symphonic black metal band with like Tolkien-esque <laughs> atmosphere and loads of like, doo -doo 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 -doo, like riding on the, rain, the plains of Rohan, that kind of shit. You know, epic stuff. So yeah, Stronghold by Summoning is a good. Remains of a Ruined Dead Cursed Soul by Mutilation. This is a very abrasive album. This is a very heavy and raw album. A lot of people won't like it. I like it. I think it's fucking fantastic. And the, 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 the first song on the album is probably the hardest to get into in their entire discography. But once you do, you'll love it. Grainy, scratchy, evil, raw, misanthropic. Every kind of buzzword you want to describe a great black metal album. They have it. This album's fantastic. One of my favourite mutilation albums. And yeah, good old Frenchies, good old Froggies. Um, I know we're enemies, but you make some good, good fucking music. So I'll give you credit for that. Heaven in Flames by Judas Iscariot, my favourite Judas Iscariot album this year. This year is a banger. This is the best Judas Iscariot album. Um, to Embrace a Corpse's Bleeding is also pretty damn fantastic and catchy, but there's something about Heaven in Flames that just has this atmosphere that is not beaten. It's more um, dreary, it's just more dread-filled, the atmosphere on Heaven in Flames, and I still think it's just as catchy. So yeah, really love this album and I'm glad it's on this list. Two more now, starting with <gasps> Panzer Division Marduk, my favourite Marduk album. So, most of these albums have been my favourite of the respective bands. Not changing here, Panzer Division literally is the soundtrack to the apocalypse. Like, it's hell soundtrack. The bombs falling, the, the shells, the machine guns, just the fire, the ferocity of everything. Everything in this album is insane. I, I love every single song. I can't get enough of this album. It's the heaviest black metal album I've ever heard. I've heard fucking hundreds. <laughs> this is just, there's something about it. Something about this war-filled black metal that's just heavier than any raw thing you can fucking throw at me. Heavier than any death metal album you can fucking throw at me. Sends all those death metal bands home on a stretcher. The, the ferocity in this is unfucking matched You know? You could give me a hundred war metal bands. They won't sound as ferocious as Marduk does. They don't. Blasphemy ain't shit. This is the real stuff. This is the heavy stuff. What's heavier than Marduk? <laughs> but yeah, um, joking aside, I love this album to pieces and it's one of my favourites of all time. I love it. Last but not least, we have the Paysage to Hiver, Paysage to Hiver demo, uh, which is still the class as an album. They have a lot of demos like that, which are really long, and this one is just magical. It has that snow filled atmosphere, kind of like On Tour but a bit more in an atmospheric way. Um, still catchy though, but a bit more atmospheric. You could get lost in the snow while listening to this album. It's so beautiful, great for uh, forest walks. If you've got a forest near you, take Paysage de Hiver with you. Yeah, 
great album and one of my favorites from 1999. So there we have it, my 10 favorites from 1999. I'm sure I've missed off some, you know, I'm sure I've missed off quite a few. So let me know down below. That's your job, viewer. You right there. I'm looking at you. Comment below. What have I missed off? What is your favorites of 1999? Hopefully you had a good time with this video. Let me know down below what you want me to do next. And we'll see you again on another Quest for Metal.